acceptance and how it can improve your relationships. And uh, I'd like to begin by asking a couple people to briefly share what they believe, what acceptance means to them and or how it has helped or hindered some relationship. I found out that uh, when you get older, you don't give a damn what other people think about you. So would you call that an acceptance of self? Yes, I would. I there may be a hope that others may accept you as you are. Yeah. So you, you feel more liberated to be authentically yourself. Thank you. Anybody else? I think... Um, Can you speak up, please? Yeah. Supporting someone through something, whether you agree with it or not. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Um, so there's sort of a... There's a thing that I'd like to share, which is that from the way I understand acceptance, it is not agreement or disagreement necessarily. Those are things that we can, that can come with acceptance. So in your case, disagreement over what it is, you know, maybe they brought this on themselves in a way that you were like, you warned them, <laughs> or you just don't agree with their actions in whatever case. And yet you accepted that this is a human thing. This is something that they, that you would maybe do if you were in their shoes, uh, if you had the life they had. Who goes? Yeah. Kasha? I don't Yeah, and maybe even an acceptance of self in, in a few ways. And one being in the beginning, you mentioned materialism. And so there you're willing to accept a certain level of where you're at rather than striving, desiring more, more, more. Thank you. Anybody else? Um, I've always used the expression live and let live. somebody is saying or doing but it's it, I use that expression just live and let live so I live my life according to my standards and my values and morals and other people live theirs and, and I don't judge them. Ooh, ooh, I love that yeah so looking around oh I don't like that the color of shirt you're wearing or the actions you're taking and so then I'm going to judge you as wrong or bad or any of these other judgments Moral judgment. Age helps with a lot of those thoughts. <laughs> I agree. You, you can't tell, but I'm 82. <laughs> okay, so um, are there any others? Because I love this. I think we're learning from everything you guys say. There's so many ways that we can experience acceptance, right? Um, so I'll zoom in on one or two examples for the, the time I have here. Um, let's say in parenting, a child is feeling a certain way that you feel uncomfortable when you observe this because you care about your kid. So let's say it's a negative emotion. Let's say their kid is bored or angry or scared. You know, I think what I've seen that I don't agree with is a, 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 a lack of acceptance for that, that feeling, and then an attempt to distract, punish, reward, use some sort of manipulation to bring the child out of what they are feeling, rather than to accept it. Like, oh, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. It's like, I'm sure you can imagine the distractions and the rewards and punishments, but how about, oh, I see you're really afraid of that thing. I, I can understand why. Um, you wanna tell me more about that? So it's like, hey, that's an okay and very normal reaction to have to your environment. And to go with the other way, what happens when we bring up a child 
where we're constantly reassuring or change or basically giving them the message that your negative feelings are ugly and wrong and destructive and to be hidden or distract yourself so what we grow up to be grown-ups who then will do anything to distract ourselves and even other people we're not so comfortable with our own emotions much less other people being negative or whatever it's like we want to cheer them up right we want to reassure them we want to make things better it all comes from the heart and it's beautiful but i don't i don't agree with what it's doing to people and what we have now that are adults that have been brought up by what I call bulldozer parenting. It's like, let me fix everything for you. And that is, seems compassionate and kind. I don't believe it is. If, if a person looks a little bit into the future, and maybe has the luck or whatever to have stumbled across various kinds of modalities, trainings. So they would know that. Okay, one more. Um, let's say, Romantic relationships, okay? How does acceptance play out in romantic relationships? Anybody want to volunteer some ideas? somebody is not accepting, so judging, evaluating, criticizing, blaming, shaming, guilty, that they're driving, like you said, they're driving, they're putting space between each other, they're driving the other away, and they're also not creating peace for themselves or the other person, right? There's a lot of knots there. <laughs> that you're you know smoking 10 packs of cigarettes a day and drinking whatever um, and yet I'm gonna maybe I mean I'm definitely not gonna support it I'm not gonna congratulate you or whatever I'm not gonna buy it for you and I might even talk to you and say look I don't believe this is healthy for you and I'm worried about your health would you please think about this um, uh, would you like some support in changing these behaviors blah 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 yeah, thanks for bringing that up because it, it can be challenging to experience